Welcome to our math lesson called the spindle box. The purpose of this lesson is it's a very beginning lesson in our classroom, teaching children the difference between the numeral and the quantity between the numbers 1 through 9. So with this lesson, they'll be able to see the numeral, but more importantly, understand the quantity. They'll be holding spindle or pieces of wood in their hand, and they'll realize that 1 is not very much, but 9 is a lot. So it's teaching them the numeral and the quantity that goes with that numeral. Here is what you will need for the spindle box lesson. We are going to show you the lesson using the traditional material that we use in a classroom. But of course, as always, we are going to show you alternatives of ways you can do this lesson at home with your kids with things you already have at home. For purposes of this video, we are going to show you the lesson upside down. Traditionally, your child would be sitting next to you and you would have the lesson turned so that you could both see the numbers. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to show you upside down so you'll be able to see exactly how the series goes. So you'll start out this lesson, the traditional Montessori material has a zero on it. And zero is a little complicated to explain to kids, but, the, but what you'll want to say is that zero is empty. Zero is nothing. So when you see the, the numeral zero, nothing goes in that slot. Then you'll move on to the next number. What does this say? This says one. This is one. And then you'll hand it to the child so that they're getting the concept. This is one. Can you put one spindle next to the one? All right, what does this say? This says two, and they, they might begin to answer by now. Usually they'll know the first couple. This says two. One, two. Can you put the two spindles next to the number that says two? Three. One, two, three. This is three. Can you put three next to the number that says three? This says four. One, two, three, four. And the child will pick it up. This is four. Can you put the four next to the number that says four? This says five. Can you get five spindles out of the basket? Inevitably, the child will catch on and they'll recognize the numbers and they will start to take over, which is great. That's exactly what you want. They may want to get the numbers out of the basket and lay them out. As long as they're taking the time to do the steps so they're counting each rod, that's what you're looking for. We always strive to show you ways to make this lesson at home so that you don't have to have the actual Montessori material. So here is a way that Miss Kelly and I have created to show you how to do the spindle box at home. These are baskets you can get at a hardware store and we have purchased nine of them. We put the number right inside here. So these can be stacked on a shelf and your child can go get them. Then they will have to line them up, which will be a lesson in itself. They'll have to make sure they line them up in the appropriate order. And then since we don't have spindles, we are using popsicle sticks. So they can count the popsicle sticks. This says one, this is one. Can you put the one stick in with the number that says one? and they can go through the lesson this way. The popsicle sticks aren't quite as successful because when they hold popsicle sticks, you don't feel the quantity as much. One idea is you could use pencils because pencils have a little more diameter to them. They have depth so they can feel four pencils as opposed to nine pencils. So pencils are idea. If you have a wooden rod, you could cut rods. Um, you need 45 of them to go one through nine. So those are alternatives. The other thing that we want to make sure and mention as we always talk about movement in every video we can possibly mention movement. If you have a young child and they have the wiggles, put the basket of spindles across the room so that every time they are going to be counting their spindles, they have to go over and walk over, get the one, get the four, and bring them back over. That way the child is getting movement to and from the rug and that will help them focus. The movement helps them learn. 
Enjoy the lesson on the spindle box.